All right. <clears throat> so real quick, let's take a look at some of the activities I'm looking for you guys to do this week, which really is just an introduction to the class. So you should be able to see my screen along with my face right now and any gestures that I might make. I'm kind of an animated person whenever I talk. Um, <clears throat> so let's real quick, let's hop into this grading policy one here. And you can follow along with me and click along with me as we do this. This is just a Google form for you guys to fill out and click check mark and all that good stuff. But I'm just going to go over it with you. So I used to do this with a, a paper syllabus and things along those lines, but it just becomes redundant on the first day of school or the first day of the second semester or whatever it might be. Uh, so it's just best if I just go over it, I feel like, in a video, which is really what this whole paragraph up here is, is explaining. So your guys' grade is broken into basically two sections. Um, you get 85% of your grade is just the stuff that happens throughout the semester. Um, that's, you know, tests, uh, classwork, projects, quizzes, anything that happens inside the classroom, that's going to just go into your regular grade. I don't weight it at all. Um, and that's just to keep things kind of just so you can calculate your grades or what you need on something in order for you to, to score, to get like up to a B or up to a, a, an A or whatever that might be. It just makes it easier on you and me, really. Um, projects and bigger assignments and things like that, they'll have bigger point values anyways. So they'll naturally just kind of weight themselves anyways. Um, the semester final, which uh, this past semester, the, the first semester, uh, it was just a unit test. It was a two or three unit test. Um, that could be the same scenario for us uh, in the second semester, or it might be comprehensive. I just really haven't decided. Uh, but either way, it's 15% of your grade. Um, anytime that I give you guys a test or a quiz, I will always give you a study guide, A, and I'll also give you a day in class to study. And I'll always try to give you a little bit of a heads up. Uh, so you won't just pop in on a random Tuesday and there'll be a test that day. No, I'll, I'll always give you a warning on that. So we got a typical grading scale. 90% uh, or better is an A, anything in the 80s is a B, anything in the 70s, et etc. et cetera, et cetera. Et cetera. Um, typical grading scale that you've seen all throughout your high school and middle school and elementary school careers. Um, here's something you need to know, okay? Um, personal finance is not only a district rule for you to pass it with a 60% or better, it is a Missouri rule. I have zero say in that. If you score a 59%, even if it's a 59.9% in this class, you will fail. You have to score a 60% or better. Something I should probably have on here is sometimes I will round grades. Um, as I just said that with the whole 59.9 rule or whatever it might be, I will round, but the person who I'm rounding for has to have zero missing assignments for the entire semester. Uh, that's a personal rule. Um, if you have zero missing assignments and you're still struggling to get from a B to an A or a, a C to a B or et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, uh, I, it shows that you've actually tried. Uh, that's the biggest thing for me. Okay. So grading policy, grading scale, this is a state requirement. So due dates work a little bit differently in my class than, per, than say, in somebody else's personal finance class. Um, I've seen some familiar faces or some familiar names on the roster. Uh, for those of you that had me in the past, my due dates are still remaining the way that they were whenever you had me in like a computer science or an engineering class. Um, due dates for me, uh, for you guys, is going to be Mondays at 11.59 p.m. And that is all for the, the work done the week prior. What that means, okay? So, like, here's an example here. So, like, this week, starting on Wednesday, you have five things to do. Excuse me. Um, those five things you have Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, 
Monday to complete all of those activities. You're obviously getting class time to do them, okay? Uh, so those assignments aren't technically due until Monday the 24th at 11.59 p.m. At 11.59 p.m., the module shuts off. Bam, done. For In order for you to turn something into me, after 11.59 p.m., you have to share it with me or e email it to me. Uh, can you turn it in early, Get it like you get it all done on Thursday? Yeah, submit it all. Please, get it done. That way you don't have to worry about it over the weekend or, or on Monday when things roll around. You just know it's done already. Um, this due date thing here, it allows you to prioritize. You can prioritize your schoolwork, your social life, your activities you're involved in, whether or not you have work. Uh, it allows you to just do your own thing um, at home. But in a perfect world, for me, you guys would never have homework. I give you so much time to do things inside of class, you should never have homework for my class. Okay? Um, I give you way more than enough. If you have homework, it's because you've missed some school or you're just literally jacking your jaw all day in my class. Okay? Uh, this whole thing here with the due dates is a lot of the reasons why I'm, a, I'm, I'm sticking to, if it's late, the maximum grade you're getting is a 60%, six out of 10, uh, three out of five or whatever, whatever it might be. Okay. Um, if canvas says it's late or you have to email it to me, it's late. Okay. So I'm sticking to it this semester for sure. Um, if you are absent of course you have extension time on that. You have as many days of you, as you've missed as an extension, okay? Um, I think you'll find though, even though if you miss a day or two during the week, that with the Monday due dates, I think you'll find that you'll have more than enough time to get things done, okay? Uh, to prevent people trying to turn in late work um, in May, and that work was assigned to you in February, to prevent that from happening, once we have an exam, a test, or a quiz, or maybe even a project for that particular unit, I am no longer going to accept late work from that particular unit. And I'll give you a heads up on that, okay? Um, so when you read through this, um, you know, give me the check mark, fill all this information in, submit it. You'll get points for this, okay? So that's the grading policy. Let's bump back here. Academic dishonesty policy. Uh, you'd be surprised how often I find students cheating. Um, maybe, maybe you're not surprised. I don't know. Uh, but here's the deal, guys. Everything that I do is, is done with Google Docs. Um, a lot of times you'll see in my classroom, I've got dual monitors. Uh, something looks fishy to me. I pull up one on one screen and I pull up yours on another. And I compare the two. And if they are more than, you know, half similar, to me, that's cheating. Okay. Um, you can kind of see the first offense here. I'm going to notify you. Grade's going to be entered in as a zero. And there's going to be a comment of academic dishonesty. Uh, it will be entered into the comments on the gradebook. And I'll be emailing your parents and the guidance counselors. <clears throat> Second offense. Okay, behavior refer everything as before, behavior referral to the school administration, uh, and then from there they take it. Okay, that's up to them on the, what they want to do from there. So that's the academic dishonesty policy. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Um, this class is not designed to be hard. It's designed for you to uh, learn something, learn some valuable things for whenever you leave Liberty High School uh, as far as being able to manage your money and things along those lines and gain careers and, and stuff like that. So this stuff isn't hard. It, there's very minimal math uh, for those of you that don't like numbers. Uh, a lot of it's just busy work. And if you can stay focused for 50 minutes a day in my class, I think you'll find that you'll be just fine. So that's the academic dishonesty policy. Give me your name and, and check what class you're in. I probably should have taken that out of there. But uh, give me the, the yes that you understand what's going on there. Okay. You'll get points for that as well bump back out here real quick um the student trading card if you look in the back of the room 
you'll see that there is a P and an F created with student trading cards from the personal finance kids from last semester. So you open this guy up and what you're doing is you are creating your trading card uh, telling me information about yourself. Um, everything's explained for you here. Uh, take a look at this, complete this, and then submit it to me and I'll end up printing these off and I'll put them up on the wall like I did with the first semester kids. Uh, let's go back here. Uh, so that takes care of two, three, four, and five. One is this it, this video here. Um, you watch the video introducing me. Uh, I'm going to have a Google form for you guys to fill out with that just so I know that you watched it. This video will be linked right in here, and there'll be a Google form for you guys on that as well.